Okay, welcome back everyone. My name is Brianna. I'm a professional bro racer and I'm going to show you guys today how to get your horse to collect up. I've gotten a, a lot of questions about how to get your horse to collect up. If you can collect your horse up during your run, they're going to really get their hind end underneath them and really be able to drag around that barrel and get in and out of the turn as fast as they can. So before we get going, if you guys aren't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and let's get going. First step in getting your horse to collect um, just at a walk or a trot or a lope is you want to start off at a walk just making sure that they'll move their head. So if you want to watch down to my reins, I'm going to hold my hands in this position and I'm basically going to go one right after the other. See how he puts his head down? The minute that I make him go one after the other and he puts his head down, I'm going to just let him be released. So now if I do this at a walk, he's perfect at it. He'll lower his head at a walk. You can see he's lowering his head right now. He's a horse that'll really just run with his head really down and really collected. So okay. you guys can see as I'm walking, as I'm gonna just do the same thing. I'm gonna move, the minute he moves his head down, I'm gonna lower my hands and let him have release. So as he's coming, I'm gonna just keep doing that. And the more and more I do that, the more he's learning to just put his head down at a walk. Now you do this at a walk, a trot and a lope. Trotting's pretty self-explanatory and I'm gonna show you guys at a lope how to do it. Okay, let me see. Another thing that you guys can do, if moving your hands down your horse like this isn't working, another thing that you can do is squeeze with both of your legs. So you're gonna kinda wanna squeeze your horse's legs up into the bridle, and that'll make them kinda slow themselves down. The key is, is your hips. So the faster you move your hips, the faster your horse is gonna go. The slower you move your hips, the slower your horse is gonna go. So as I'm loping in this smaller circle with my hips, I'm gonna slow my hips down and that's gonna make my horse slow his body down. Now, if I decide that I need to speed up my hips, like if I was gonna make a run, I'm gonna speed my hips up. If I speed my hips up, he's gonna shoot out from under me a little bit faster than versus him being collected up. I'm gonna go out here and make a big circle. I'm gonna lope a big circle and I'm gonna start out just letting him lope. I'm gonna see what he does, just let him lope. And you're gonna watch, I want you to really watch my body positioning because I'm gonna slow my hips down, like I said, and I'm gonna use my hands to lower his head and really get him to get his butt up under him in order for me to make him look really, really collected and really nice. And the key with this is make sure that you give your horse a release point. So if they're doing it perfect, make them lope a perfect lap. And if they do it, stop, release the pressure and reward them and be done. So it's really important that you give them that release point when you're going. So I'm gonna head out here and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. as I slow my seat down, this horse is really going to get his butt up underneath him wow. and really be collected and look really, really nice. I just really let him decide what pace he was gonna go and then after he decided that pace then I kind of redirected him and said hey we need to settle down we need to kind of collect up so the trick is with this is why I get so many questions about it is if you guys can really get your horse to collect up like I said it's gonna help in all aspects of a run now I think a lot of people think well you know you don't need to work on your horse being collected what's you know what's the big deal with that and the big deal is is if you can have a collected horse that horse is going to be able to let you place it at any point on the pattern that you need. And the biggest thing is they're going to be able to get their hips up underneath them and really slide around that barrel really, really fast. And that's what we're ultimately after. Hopefully that clears up a lot of questions about how to get your horse to collect up. If you guys have not already, click the pop tag above. That is going to take you to the video that will show you guys a whole ton about body positioning and how to keep your horse positioned correctly in and out of a barrel turn. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in that next video.